Uh, this one is um, on Pulse Audio Device Chooser and uh, Volume Control. Now with these uh, program, you can actually control your, um, you know, your volume levels for different applications. Like let's say if you're running, um, let's see, give you an example. If you're running like a uh, VLC or uh, your default movie player, totem here, right? Uh, it can detect your stream, okay say your VLC stream and uh, your totem and I also have Firefox running so it doesn't really matter which um, program you have uh, if you have an audio stream then uh, you can you can uh, control the volumes of it now this is probably useful to uh, you know when you're watching a movie right you turn on your master volume it's really loud and then some idiot you know I am you on a pigeon or whatever and it goes loud right so what you can do with that is um, you know turn your uh, movie volume up high if you want and all you gotta do is limit your uh, pigeon volume to like maybe 20 percent so that's what this program you can do with that like uh, like totem you can limit to like maybe 82 percent or uh, VLC you can limit to 68 percent so you know whatever you're doing like you're watching a, a uh, video on uh, Firefox right alright uh, and uh, you want it the loudest and your music, you don't want to turn it off, but you you don't want it to overtake your, uh, you know, your video viewing, and you can't hear shit when you're watching your video if your music is at the same level, right? So that's another thing you can do, you know, to balance out what you want to uh, hear at the same time. Uh, so that's what you can do with this program. Uh, I see like other operating systems having this too, like uh, Windows Seven. They have something. Uh, like this by default. This one is not a default, okay? But uh, in the future, I hope they probably have something like this as a default, because I think it's uh, kind of useful to have you know your control over other applications of how they uh, you know their maximum volume. But uh, it doesn't affect your master volume, okay? It only affects uh, different programs. So this is what it you know that's what it does. That's all it does. And they have some other options in here like. Uh, you can view your recording stream, uh, your output devices and input devices and all that. But uh, mainly it's the playback options is uh, you know what this program is good for. Uh, so if you want it, you can go to your, your Synaptic and just search for uh, Pulse Audio Device Chooser. Uh, the chooser is just the icon right here. Okay, this applet right here. And uh, the volume control is uh, uh, these are the two packages you want, right? Okay, and the volume control is uh, what I just showed you. This one here. And uh, if you want the, you know, this icon right here to be uh, here when you log in every time, all you gotta do is click on it and uh, go down to preference. And you see it says uh, start app late on login, and uh, I'll be there every time you log in. So that's what this program does. It just, uh, you know, controls volumes for different applications that you have, all the streams.